days. And on the third day, friend, he rose again in victory. Thank God today there's hope in Christ Amen. because he's alive. Praise the Lord. Friends, today I don't know about you, but the safest place that I've ever found is to be in Christ. Amen. To be in God's ark. God's ark was built 2,000 years ago out of two bits of old rugged timber at the place called Calvary. Whenever the Lord Jesus Christ allowed those Roman soldiers to beat him to a bloody pulp. Did you ever think about that, friend? Think about who was being beaten. Think about who they crucified. He was the King of kings and Lord of lords. He was the captain of the angel armies. Amen. The Bible tells us in the Old Testament that at one time when the prophet of God was in trouble, when there was an army coming against him, that he looked out the window and he saw the chariots of fire, the angels of the Lord. Amen. The angels of God are watching. You think about Christ at Calvary. Think about when he was bowed down. Think about when they were beating him and whipping his back to a pulp. Every angel in heaven was looking, friend. Michael wasn't but a whisper away. Jesus could have called 10,000 angels and he could have wiped out not only the Roman civilization, but the whole world. But friends, he didn't do it like a lamb led to the slaughter. Friends, he endured the cross. He despised the shame because of his great love for us. Amen. He couldn't call his army. It only took one angel in the Old Testament to wipe out 185,000 men. Think about the power of the Lord Jesus. He's the one that the angels worship. He's the one that the angels bow down to. He's the one that the angels revere, friend. Did he let himself stand before mere mortals? Amen. And be beaten to a bloody pulp? Amen. To have his back whipped like a plowed field? To have the beard pulled from his face? To be treated as a criminal? To suffer the greatest injustice that any man has ever suffered? Then, friends, at the end of it all, hanging on a bloody cross, after being spat upon, after being shamed and disgraced, the only words that Jesus had for his enemies, Father, forgive them, they for they know that. not what they do. What a saviour! Friends, Jesus speaks the same message to you. Today, you don't know what you're doing if you're not in Christ. You don't know the seriousness of your sins. You don't know the crimes that you're committing against the Holy God every time you hear here? about his mercy uh, in Christ. Not, every time you thumb right. your nose at the gospel. Every yeah. time you say no to God's son. Every time you refuse Christ's mercy. Friend, it's an offense to a holy God. Amen. It's like coming down out of the house and slapping your mother in the face on the way out the door. God has done so much for you. More than your mother will ever do for you or ever That's could do for you. Indeed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Mind you, there's never been a person like Christ. There was no one else from Adam that could ever save our souls. Everybody that was ever born of a woman, including you and me, is faulty by nature. We have sinned and we've done wrong. You don't know a sinless person. I don't know a sinless person apart from one, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Everybody else, friend, has dropped the ball, including you. There's no way that we could find a savior among men, among our friends, because we're all fallen. Amen. We all fall far short of the, of the glory, glory of God. Of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. My friends, today God calls us into covenant relationship. God calls us to get under the blood, to get our sins forgiven, and to get right with God through the greatest offering that was ever made on Calvary. Amen. Praise you know, our the Lord. The Testament's a bloody book. Right from the beginning of creation. When man sinned, when Adam sinned in the garden, when he walked out on God, God came and God asked for Adam where he was. Adam was hiding among the trees. He tried to make himself a covering of fig leaves, friends, but that wasn't good enough. God killed an animal and God covered Adam with, with the coverings of an animal who shed its blood. All picturing for us the redemption through the blood. Amen. Friends, the, the fig leaves were no use. It's a bit like religion today. Some of you are trying to cover your sin with religion. Some of you are trying to go to church and be a good person. You've got to give up, friends. You can't work your way to heaven. You've got to walk your way to heaven. Amen. Man, man. Jesus Christ. For God says you can't be saved through works of righteousness Amen. of your own. You're not good enough to get to heaven. And neither am I. There's only one man good enough to get into heaven. Jesus. That's the one we say about today. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God. Praise the Lord. Thank God today, anybody who Christ lives in is on their way to heaven. Amen. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but it's according to God's mercy that he saves us.